All right, guys, hello and welcome. My name is Jenny J, and today we are doing a 45 minute strength class. It's all gonna be about lifting and toning those major muscle groups. So we're gonna be tackling your entire body here from upper body, lower body, and core. For equipment today, you will need your body, a mat, and maybe two sets of dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells at home, feel free to grab canned goods, water bottles, laundry detergent, whatever you have around the house. Today, we're gonna be doing a total of eight exercises, 10 reps of each exercise, and we'll do about three rounds of this to really help build our muscle. As always, take as many breaks as you need and towel down, water. Uh, you can grab that uh, drink of water whenever you need it. So let's go ahead and get started with the warm up. Let's bring those feet nice and wide. We'll start off with three big deep breaths. Let's inhale, hands come up. Exhale, let it go. Again, inhale, hands up. Exhale, let it go. And last one, inhale, hands up. Exhale, let it go. Good, let's bring those hands in a T position. Mini circles, warming up the shoulders, getting that blood flow going. Awesome. All right, super important that we start every single workout with a warm up. We don't ever want to start our warm up, or excuse me, our workouts with a cold body. Let's reverse, bring it the other way. So it's important to kind of just get your body moving, get that blood flow going, and this is gonna help you get your body and your mind ready for the workout today. From here, we'll go into side to side torso rotations. You wanna think about twisting from your chest, twisting your abs, and then getting those hips, knees, and ankles to twist as well. So you never want to kind of isolate your movements, but you wanna keep everything in one single unit. We're here for four, three, two, and one. Good, all right, nice wide stance here. We're gonna make sure that those toes are pointing parallel. We're gonna go into dynamic lateral lunges. So you're gonna bend one leg, keep the other leg straight as you stretch out that inner thigh, and then you're gonna just go through center, warming up the glutes, warming up the thighs, getting that booty working as well. Make sure that your knee is in line with your second and third toes. We're here for four, three, two, and one. Good, from here, let's go into body weight squats, warm everything up. Let's have those feet about shoulder distance apart, maybe a little bit wider. And I have my toes uh, about parallel, slightly turned out a little bit. So it's up to you with your hip flexibility. You can bring those hands to your heart center. You wanna drop your seat back and down as if you're sitting in a chair, keep that chest up, and then you're gonna press those hips forward, squeeze the butt cheeks together at the top. We're gonna stay here for 10. So this is 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, awesome. All right, from here, we're gonna go into our inchworms. I love this exercise. You see it all the time in my workouts. We're going to stand at the back of our mat, feet shoulder distance apart. We're gonna drop that chin to the chest, round the spine on the way down. We're gonna walk those hands out to your high plank, stack the shoulders on top of wrists. If you need an option, you can drop down to those knees. And then you're gonna walk those hands back to your feet, roll up to a stand. Such a great exercise to stretch out the spine and then wake up the core, wake up the upper body. Let's do about two more of these. Feeling that nice stretch in the back of the legs. Hips come down. Rounding the spine on the way up. And this is your last one. And then walk those hands back and then come up to a stand. Awesome. All right, let's head down to the floor. We're gonna warm up the glutes, warm up the core. So our first warm up exercise is hip bridges. You're gonna have those knees bent, heels close to the glutes, hands by your hips. You're gonna press those hips up as you do. You're gonna tuck that pelvis under to squeeze the butt cheeks together and then slowly come back down one vertebrae at a time. We're gonna stay here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, and one. Great. Now let's warm up the core last exercise and then we'll go ahead and get started with our workout. We have dead bugs. So we're gonna stack those shins parallel to the floor. Knees are right on top of the hips. Hands are extended above the shoulders. You're gonna drop your right arm and left leg, let it hover a couple inches off the floor. And then moving through molasses, you're gonna switch sides. Now you wanna make sure that your low back stays planted on the floor the entire time. So if you notice that your low back is starting to lift up, let's reduce the range of motion by lifting the legs a little bit higher, or you don't have to straighten all the way. You can just keep a small bend in the knees. We're gonna stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, let's hug those knees into the chest. And then let's roll on up. Feel free to grab a quick sip of water and we'll go ahead and get started with our workout today. So we're gonna do eight exercises again, 10 reps of every single move. And I will provide options throughout the class, but if you ever feel like you need a beginner option, you can always just lighten the weight or do the move body weight. So definitely listen to your body. First exercise is going to be a deadlift. So this really helps us fire up our glutes and our hamstrings. So I'm gonna go side profile for you to take a look at what this looks like. Your feet are gonna be shoulder distance apart, palms are facing in. Roll those shoulders back and down to open up the chest. Now you're gonna hinge from those hips, slight bend in the knees as the dumbbells graze down the thighs all the way to the shins. Feel those glutes and uh, hamstrings fire up. Posture is neutral and then you're gonna stand straight back up the way you just came down, all right? Keep a small bend in the knees the entire time. We're gonna do 10 reps here in three, two, one. Let's go. This is one, two. I have my heavier weights here. Three, because we're focusing on our lower body. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome job. All right, I'm gonna keep these weights. Next exercise is an upright row, which targets the shoulders. So feet are shoulder distance apart, soft to bend in the knees, palms are facing in again. From here, you're gonna bring those elbows high and wide as you outline the rib cage. Dumbbells come to the chest and then outline the rib cage on the way down, all right? So we're gonna do 10 reps here. You wanna make sure that those wrists are below the elbow so it's not like that, okay? There's a difference. All right, 10 reps in three, two, one, let's go. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Woo, definitely feel that with these 10 pounds. All right, next exercise, we're gonna combine a lower body move with an upper body move. Lateral lunge to hammer curl. So take a look, my feet are together to start. I'm gonna take a big step out to the side, framing my leg with the dumbbells, coming into that lateral lunge. When I come back to my starting position, I go into a hammer curl, bringing those dumbbells up to the shoulders and slowly bring it down, and then switch sides, keeping those elbows glued into the rib cage the entire time. So we're gonna do 10 reps, which is five on the right, five on the left. Here we go on three, two, one, let's go. Down, up, hammer curl. Trying to get nice and low into those legs. You're gonna feel those side glutes and your quads and your booty. And then definitely feeling those biceps on that hammer curl. Because we're moving in different directions here, you wanna make sure that your core is always on. Think about pressing your belly button 
into your spine, keeping everything nice and tight. This is seven. And up. Eight. And up. This is nine. Shh, make sure you're breathing. And 10. Woo! All right, nice work. All right, coming up is our front squat. So we already did a squat in our warm up. Now we're just adding weight at the top of our chest. So I almost kind of rested on my shoulders. What you don't want to do is have the dumbbells out here. You want to have it right on top so you can even let it rest on the shoulders or just right in front of the chest. And then we're gonna come straight down. Your weight is heavy in the heels, toes are light, knees are in line with the toes. And then you're gonna squeeze the booty at the top for your front squat. We got 10 reps in three, two, one. Let's go. Down and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Ooh, relax. You can bring those dumbbells to the ground if you need to. I'm gonna go ahead and show you this next exercise. Coming up is an Arnold press, focusing on the shoulders. I'm gonna take a staggered stance, one foot in front of the other, but you can also do shoulder distance as well. I'm gonna bring those dumbbells in front of my face, palms are facing in. I'm gonna rotate out to a field goal post position, press those dumbbells up to the sky, come back and rotate in. 10 reps here, so let's go ahead. I'm already sweating, <laughs> these are heavy weights for me. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. This is one, two, three, making sure you're standing nice and tall, four, five, six, seven, almost there, eight, nine, and 10. Woo, nice work. All right, we're gonna head down to the floor. So coming up, we have a close grip chest press. So we're gonna come down to our backs. I'm gonna use my same dumbbells here. Now you're going to extend those dumbbells above the shoulders, palms are facing in. As you bend the elbows, the elbows should brush the rib cage, creating a 90 degree angle and then squeeze the chest muscles as you press it back up right above the shoulders. 10 reps in three, two, one, let's go. This is one, two, three, in case you don't know, this is working the chest and the biceps. This is five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, you can set those dumbbells down to the side and then safely come on up. We got two more exercises. So the next exercise we have is a plank dumbbell alternating row. This is definitely an advanced move, so I'm gonna show you a few options. You're gonna make sure that your feet are about shoulder distance apart. I have one dumbbell here. What I'm gonna do is keep a nice plank position. I'm gonna grab the dumbbell with my hand, row it up to the rib, come back down, place the other palm down, and then switch. So we're getting the core and the back muscles. If you need an option, you can bend those knees, do a modified plank, and then switch arms each time. So we're gonna do 10 total, which means five on each arm. So let's go ahead and do it. Super important, let's try to keep those hips from piking up. So I don't wanna see you be uh, doing this at home to row the dumbbell. Let's bring that booty down. In three, two, one, let's go. This is one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Woo. All right, one more exercise. It's gonna be another single dumbbell exercise. So come to your back. Coming up, we're combining two moves. We're combining a lateral pullover to a crunch. So take a look. I'm gonna grab one dumbbell. I'm gonna hold it from the ends of the dumbbell here. Now I'm gonna keep a slight micro bend in my elbows. I'm going to bring the dumbbell back behind me. Biceps come to ears. I'm gonna squeeze my back muscles. And then as I come up, dumbbell comes up to the sky as I find a crunch. Shoulder blades lift off the floor, squeeze the abs, and then come back down. 10 reps here in three, two, one. Let's go down and crunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10. Woo, all right, set that dumbbell down. You can roll on up. Go ahead and grab a quick sip of water. So that was round one. We're gonna do that again for a total of three rounds. Awesome job. Feel free to let me know how you feel either during this workout or after the workout. Now, I always think round one is your warm up round. You were learning the exercises, you were figuring out what weights to choose. Now, round two, this is your opportunity to get better at the exercise and adjust your weight. So if you felt like those were too easy and you didn't really feel anything, take it as a sign to increase that weight. If you felt like it was too hard and you were having trouble to complete the exercise, take it as a sign you might need to decrease the weight. Your goal is to find that sweet spot where you're starting to struggle by the last two to three reps. So since this is a 10 rep exercise workout, you should be struggling to get that uh, exercise by rep eight or rep nine. So just keep that in mind. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with our deadlift. You're gonna start with those feet shoulder distance apart. Again, opening up that chest in three, two, one, let's go. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome. Upright row. Now it's very common if you need to lighten the weight on this one because we're targeting your smaller muscle groups and your shoulders, it's totally okay to drop some weight. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome. All right, from here, we'll go into a lateral lunge with bicep curl. So feet are pretty much close together. Take a big step out, five on the right, five on the left. In three, two, one, let's go. Down. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10. Woo. All right, coming up to our front squats. Again, I'm taking a more angled squat. This helps me get a little bit deeper into my squat. If your feet are a little bit more parallel, it might limit yourself because of your hip flexibility. So the wider the squat, the deeper you can probably get. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice work. All right, coming up, Arnold Press. So again, you can take that staggered stance. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. What you just want to avoid is any of this like hip arching where your low back is getting all the pressure. So make sure you're standing up nice and tall. We're gonna take off in three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, feeling that burn, eight, nine, and 10. All right, I found my sweet spot with my weight selection. I was definitely struggling by the last eight, nine, 10 rep. Let's head down to the floor. We have our close grip chest press. So you're gonna find that neutral position, right? The palms are facing in and the dumbbells are gonna come to the rib cage. Here we go, press it up in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and sit on up. We're gonna go into our plank alternating row, grabbing that dumbbell, again, alternating each arm, making sure that those hips are down. And if you notice that your hips are wiggling side to side, Widen out your stance with your legs a little bit more and squeeze those butt cheeks. Here we go. In three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Whew. All right, let's go ahead and go on our back. Lat pullover with our crunch. So I'm just using one dumbbell. If you have lighter weights, you're more than welcome to use two dumbbells and just combine them together. So let's go ahead, extend it above. In three, two, one, let's go. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Woo. All right, bring that dumbbell to the side, roll on up. Awesome job. So that was two rounds down, and we're gonna go ahead and do one more round. So this is your opportunity to challenge that weight. If you can do any more, feel free to do it. 
Uh, if you want to go until failure where you can't do a rep or complete it with good form, this is the time to do it. Uh, this is the last round. So go ahead, grab that sip of water if you haven't already, and we'll take off together. I want to double check with you guys to make sure we're all okay here. All right, so it looks like we're okay. All right, let's go ahead and go into round number three. So grab those dumbbells. We're gonna have those feet shoulder distance. You wanna pretend that there's a wall behind you. You wanna poke it with your booty. So let's do it in three, two, one, let's go. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, upright row is next. Feet shoulder distance. Palms are facing in. In three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. This should be getting challenging for you. Nine and ten. Woo. All right. Lateral lunge to bicep curl. Let's bring those feet together. Big step. Big big lunge. In three, two, one. Let's go. Down and up. This is one. Two. Now, as you do your lunge, just make sure that you keep that chest nice and proud. Three, so no rounding of the shoulders. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. All right, front squat is next. Again, a little bit wider than shoulder distance if you'd like. Toes are pointing out. Dumbbells right on top of that chest. In three, two, one. Let's go. Make this your deepest squat. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whoo, legs are on fire. Arnold press. Here we go. In three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four. You got this five, keep it up. Six, seven. Oh yeah, we're starting to struggle. Eight, nine and 10. Whew, we made it. All right, on the floor, we're gonna go into our close grip, chest press. So let's come on down. Here we go, palms are facing in. In three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 
Excellent. All right. Come to your seat. We're going to go into our alternating plank row. Again, keep those hips down. Keep the shoulders stacked right on top of those wrists. Let's take off in three, two, one. Let's go. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, last exercise in the circuit, and I do believe we have a few minutes for some bonus moves. So let's come on down to our back, lat pullover with our crunch. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. Bring it down, up, and crunch. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, feel free to grab a quick sip of water. Towel down, water down if you need to. We're gonna go ahead and do some pretty uh, fun exercises to target your side obliques. So this is just one portion of a move called a Turkish get up. It's a very complicated move and we're not gonna get into it today, but we are gonna do the part of the exercise that helps us sculpt our side abs. So I have my lighter weight here, I have my three pounds. I'm gonna take a big step, uh, I'm gonna kneel with my uh, right knee down, my left foot is forward, and then I'm gonna hold this dumbbell with my left hand. Now from here, I'm going to plant my free hand all the way down to the side of my body, and then like a string attached to my abs, I'm gonna be pulled straight up. This is gonna help you really tone and sculpt the obliques, and you're definitely gonna feel this tomorrow. So 10 reps here in three, two, one, let's go. Now as you do this, you wanna make sure this arm stays completely straight the entire time. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome, let's switch sides. So the right knee comes forward, and then right arm lifts up. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. Try to plant your entire hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Woo, nice job. All right, coming up, we're gonna go into some glute bridges, focusing on those glutes. We can always do more glute work. So let's go ahead and go on our backs. Again, we're gonna bend those knees. This time we're gonna place that heavy weight on top of our hips. Just like what we did in that warm up. we're gonna drive into our heels, press the hips up, tuck that pelvis under to prevent arching of the low back, and then slowly come back down. We're gonna do 10 reps here in three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
and 10. Awesome. Let's finish off with butterfly crunches here. So you're gonna bring those soles of the feet to touch. Knees are wide. We're gonna bring those hands behind the head, elbows wide as well. Lift your chin off your chest as you bring your shoulder blades off the floor and then come back down. We're gonna stay here for about 10 reps. In three, two, one, let's go. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and do that again. So one more round. Now that you know the exercises, now we can do them with a little bit better form, right? So we're gonna bring our left knee forward. Left arm has that dumbbell. Half a uh, part of the Turkish getup, I guess you could call it. I, I'll just call it a kneeling oblique crunch. That's what we're doing here. Here we go, 10 reps in three, two, one, let's go. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ooh. All right, let's switch sides. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10. Woo. All right, we're gonna feel that. Let's go into our hip bridges on our backs. If you'd like, you can have two weights on those hips if you want extra resistance. So your call, you do you. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome. Let's go into our butterfly crunches. So dumbbell comes to the side, soles of the feet touch, knees wide. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, I know you're getting tired. We're gonna just do one more ab exercise and then we're gonna stretch everything out. So from here, we're gonna bring our legs nice and long on the mat. We're gonna bring our hands behind the head. We're gonna kick our right leg up to the sky or up to the ceiling as you reach your hand to the outside of the shoe. And then you're gonna come back down. So you lift up at the same time, and then you come back down. If you need an option, you can bend those knees to make this just a little bit easier to do, okay? 10 reps on both sides, and then we are done. So we'll just do the right for 10. Here we go. Bring it up. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and 10, you made it. Oh, I hope you feel amazing. Let's go ahead and hug those knees in. 
We'll stretch everything out. You deserve a really, really good stretch. We worked our entire bodies today from head to toes. So I hope you feel really, really good. Let's hug the right knee in. You're gonna extend the left. And focus on driving that knee into the chest to stretch out the hip flexor. From here, you're going to cross that right knee over to the left. As you gaze to the right, find a nice, easy spinal twist. Stretching out your oblique muscles, but also feeling the stretch in the hips, chest, shoulders. Awesome, let's slowly come back to center. And then we're gonna switch sides, extend the right leg. Left leg tucks in, squeeze it nice and tight. And from here, cross that knee over to the right as you gaze to the left. Super important that we prioritize stretching after our workout so that we uh, prevent too much soreness after. All right, come back. You're gonna hug those knees in, roll it on up. We'll go ahead and go into a wide-legged forward fold. So you're gonna bring those legs wide, toes are pointing forward. Drop that head down to stretch out the hamstrings. And also feeling a really nice low back release. Feel free to shift your weight into the balls of the feet, almost as if you're going to topple over into a somersault. Feel free to shake your head yes, nod your head no. Just allowing the weight of gravity to stretch out those legs even more. Now from here, you're gonna toe heel those feet to come to about shoulder distance apart. And then you can start bending those knees right and left, just getting a deeper stretch. And if you can't touch your hands to the floor, you can bring your hands to the calves or the thighs, do whatever you can do. And then from here, have a soft bend in those knees, rolling up one vertebrae at a time, head comes up last. <sighs> that should feel amazing. We'll go into a shoulder stretch. So you're gonna cross that right arm across the body, pull that shoulder away from the ear. So we did 10 reps of everything. Again, your goal was to complete those 10 reps successfully, but struggle just a little bit in those last two to three reps. Switch sides. If you did not struggle at all today, then I would encourage you to add more weight or uh, do more reps if you don't have any additional weight. Let's go into a tricep stretch here. You're gonna bring that hand back behind you. Use the other hand to pull it back. And this is also uh, something that you can go back to again. If you do this workout again, your goal is to maybe challenge the weight and go a little bit heavier next time around and see if you were able to gain more strength. So it's a great way to kind of set some milestones and goals for yourself. And we'll go ahead and finish off with two big dip, deep breaths. <laughs> Let's inhale, hands come up. Exhale, let it go. Again, inhale, hands up and exhale, let it go. Awesome job, thank you so much.